While many European leaders have been hesitant to sanction Russia, Romania has taken a tough line. Romania's president has called Russia a partner for terrorists in eastern Ukraine and accused EU leaders of putting economic interests ahead of regional security. Earlier, I spoke with Romania's foreign minister. I asked whether he felt that Europe lacked the will to stand up to Russia. Uh, first of all, I will uh, tell you the fact that uh, all the time uh, Romania supported uh, a very strong uh, coordination uh, of the European Union with uh, the United States. It's extremely important to have a, a common position, a firm attitude uh, at the level of our Euro-Atlantic community when dealing with the aggressive attitude of Russia in uh, Ukraine. Secondly, there is no surprise uh, the fact that uh, uh, some of the EU member states uh, uh, had some specific uh, uh, attitudes uh, which uh, reflected uh, their specific economic interests also in the uh, in the domain of the energy security which someone can understand in the same time the fact that uh uh, last uh, Tuesday, we succeeded to adopt uh, a clear common uh, position at the level of the European Union, uh, adopting new uh, uh, targeted uh, uh, measures, sanctions. The fact that we are working uh, now uh, to, um, uh, to enlarge, and we have decided that, to enlarge the criteria for uh, targeting those uh, persons and entities that actively uh, supported, gave uh, clear support uh, to the Russian decision makers that are responsible uh, for uh, the illegal annexation of uh, Crimea or for the destabilization of eastern Ukraine, I think this it is an important step forward. What would Romania like to see? What is the best outcome in terms of where these sanctions should go? How far do you think they should go? I think uh, uh, the goal is not uh, just adopting uh, sanctions. The, the, the goal is exactly to determine Russia to stop any support, political or military support to the separatists, to uh, support uh, the internal inclusive political process, peace process that uh, uh, President Poroshenko uh, launched uh, some uh, weeks ago, and uh, to accept that uh, the, the respect of the very fundamental uh, principles of international law, first of all, the territorial integrity, the sovereignty of a state, any state, including uh, Ukraine, this, the, all, the, all of this must be respected, uh, in, including by, by Russia. As we are discussing this, uh, we have also saw resignations uh, in Ukraine. There will be new elections. All of this coming uh, at a very important juncture for the country. Was that part of the discussion today? And is there re any reaction from Europe uh, to the fact that there is a change in leadership afoot there? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, calling the early elections uh, uh, was part of the discussion that we had uh, previously with uh, the new Ukrainian uh, leadership in, in Kiev uh, because uh, organizing uh, the, the presidential elections, that happened according to the democratic standards and we welcomed uh, very much uh, the election through this democratic process of a new Ukrainian president.